we get more flexible, we have more energy, we have more life. Of course, after the sessions, because of all that breathing, you will feel a little dizzy and you will feel lightheaded, you will feel high. And uh, because breath itself, oxygen itself is a higher frequency, it's like it's the highest frequency of life energy ever. When you have it more inside your system, of course, you're gonna feel lighter and a little high. So we're gonna finish the day a little high today. <laughs> Drink lots of water today. It's very important because you will be detoxing throughout the day. Try to eat healthy. If, you, if you're a person who usually have a drink every day, I suggest, you for, I suggest you not to have a drink at least tonight because this is the day that your body is detoxing if you want to do so. And you won't need it. And have fun with the sessions. So, so when you come back, just choose a mat. You will be lying down. Throughout the session, you will be closed eyes. You will close your eyes, bend your knees, relax your jaw, open your mouth, and breathe real deep, deep as you can. And you're gonna go into a journey throughout the session because you're going, you're breathing deep, and because you're going into the problem, this functional breathing habit, you will feel lots of stuff like tingling, too hot, too cold, go into the stiffness. It's good to it's good to visualize what happens every time we breathe dysfunctionally. So every time we change our breathing. So when you look at breathing and respiration, they have to be aligned. Even if breathing is a behavior, respiration and breathing has to be aligned. So what I mean is we shouldn't, the best type of breathing functional, we shouldn't be manipulating and changing our breathing for psychological reasons. We shouldn't be breathing deep just to feel good because it affects our respiratory chemistry. You should be breathing deep if your brain sends the diaphragm that message. When you look at respiration, respiration is a brainstem reflex. It's a reflective system, it's like the digestive system it's like how your brain works and it has to be like that the body is the perfect computer when you look at respiration it's a very complex system because there are receptors in the brain that receives the information in the body like what happens is the brain like a computer gets all the information from the body and knows like the arterial carbon dioxide pressure arterial oxygen pressure pulmonary oxygen uh, pressure what's happening in the lungs how much oxygen pressure you have in the lungs in the arteries in the alveolar sacs gets all the information and then sends the diaphragm a message like with the chemoreceptors and with the help of the nervous system and tells the body to breathe deep, to breathe slow, because it's trying to balance that respiratory chemistry. When I interfere, unconsciously or consciously, when I am the one who is doing the breathing, I interfere with a perfect system and that's dysfunctional. So every time unconsciously, I am manipulating the breathing and doing something that my body shouldn't be doing, like breathing deep when you're just sitting down at your office to feel good. I mean, people breathe deep when they do sports because there are lots of, there's lots, lots of lactic acid and the bicarbonates are not uh, enough to compensate that. That's why we breathe deep. So if you're breathing deep to just feel good, you're gonna go into respiratory alkalosis and we do it without even knowing it. So imagine, visualize every time you breathe dysfunctionally in our system, every time we do that in our system, an energy like gets created. Like every moment, the system gets, you know? And when you start breathing, and when breath coaches start working on your breathing habits and you start breathing functionally, what happens is all of those stiff energies, stressed energies rise up.